Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial for Edware. In this video we are going to be talking about variables and the read and data blocks. Now as you can see these blocks start grayed out. That's because both of these sets of blocks require variables to be used. So if we jump up here to the variable editor we can open this up and we can add a new variable to our program. So this is, I'm just going to call a test variable. And as you can see, we've got two different types of variable here. One that has a range of uh, 0 to 255. So those are the maximum and minimum values that you can put into here. The second has a range of plus or minus 32,000 and a bit. Uh, so for most cases, all you need is the 0 to 255 type. There are some cases where you do need the larger word variable here. So we're just going to set up test as this guy, and we're going to, that, going to give that an initial value of 0. That means at the start of the program, it's going to be equal to 0. We're also going to add in a new other new variable here. I'm just going to call this one test2, and we're going to make that the other type as well. So as you can see, when I put that variable in, a whole bunch of these things did actually activate. And then when I add this one in as well, we'll see that the other um, blocks over on the side there do unlock as well. So there you go, that's how you add a variable in. Next thing, we're going to go and quickly talk about what all of these things are and what they do. The data blocks simply do maths on variables. So a plus one count like this guy adds one to a variable. So at the start, as I said, uh, test, which is this variable down the bottom down here, is going to start at zero. If we place this down, it's going to turn from zero to one. If we place another one down after that and set it to test as well, it's going to go 0 to 1 here and then 1 to 2 here. So this is quite useful for creating loops, for example. So if we take a loop out here and then we put a plus 1 in there, we can say uh, test passes test equals, let's say, 10. This way, this loop is going to loop around 10 times and it's going to break after the 10th time and it's going to move on and do whatever else you put down in your program. So all of these green blocks do pretty much similar things. So you can set memory, which means that we could then, uh, you can set that value to whatever you like. So that is going to set it up to be test equal to zero. You can copy data from one variable to another. So I could copy the data from test into test two. And you can also do maths on these things. So I can do test plus whatever I like. So I could do test plus two, or I could do test minus two, whatever I want to do. And there's a whole bunch of other options in here that you can have a quick scroll through. They're all pretty simple and basic maths equations that you can do. So that's the basics of the green data blocks. In the next video, we'll go through and talk about all of the blue read blocks. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the next video.